What's going on, MMA fans? I'm back to do my WEC 36 predictions taking place on September 10th on Versus, Faber versus Brown. Gonna work my way from the bottom of the main card all the way to the top like I normally do. First fight of the night, Ronnie Yaya taking on Yoshihiro Maeda. Ronnie Yaya, the 2007 ADCC grappling champion. Black belt Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, very dangerous on the ground. Has improving hands, great heart, great speed. Of course, training out of the Hicks and Gracie Jiu Jitsu camp. Last fight was against Nuifumi Kid Yamamoto. Um, Kid got him later on uh, in that fight and uh, put him away, but Ronnie Yaya showed some improvement in that fight. Um, Chase BB, Mark Comic, and Jay-Z Calvaconti were also uh, past opponents of Ronnie Yaya. Um, Yoshiro Maeda has great judo, uh, good leg kicks. Um, he's very, very dangerous with his leg kicks. Body or leg, if you don't check them, um, he will pick you apart. Talented striker, great heart, good ground game. Last fight was against Miguel Torres, Charlie Valencia, uh, Mazakazu Imanari, Crazy Horse Bennett. The list goes on for him. Uh, I'm going to go with Ronnie Yaya via split decision. I think it's going to be a close fight, but I think he's got enough grappling skills, um, and he's got some improving uh, hands and a lot of uh, improvements in his MMA game that I think he can win this fight. So I'm going to pick Ronnie Yaya. Next fight, Rob McCullough versus Donald Cerrone. Rob McCullough, of course, a talented, talented Muay Thai practitioner, training out of Team Oyama. Good takedown defense, good clinch, um, a talented, talented striker. Um, last fight was against Cal Ken Alexander. Uh, lost to Jamie Varner for the 155-pound championship. Fought Rich Crumpleton, Kit Cope, Ryan Healy, Josh Thompson. The list goes on for him. Taking on Donald Cerrone, who's a talented Muay Thai striker. Slick, slick ground game and has a lot, a lot of heart. Um, last fight was against Danny Castillo. Um, also fought Ken Alexander via the no contest. Ryan Roberts, uh, Nate Moore. The list goes on for him. I'm going to go with Rob McCullough via unanimous decision. Um, I think McCullough showed a little bit of tentativeness in his last fight with Ken Alexander after the loss to Jamie Varner. I think we're still going to see a little bit of that before he comes back into his own again. Um, and I think Rob McCullough is going to win via unanimous decision. Next fight, uh, Jens Pulver taking on Leonard Garcia. Jens Pulver training out of Militich. Dangerous left hand, good striker, good wrestling, good grappler, good takedown defense. Last fight against Uriah Faber, lost to him, fought Cub Swanson, BJ Penn, Joe Lozon, Cole Escovito, Takanori Gomi, Maha Sakurai, Dwayne Ludwig, um, the list goes on for him. Uh, Leonard Garcia, good striker, good grappler, great submission defense, and he's very, very good at staying out of submissions, um, and he's got a lot of heart. Um, he's fought Cole Miller, uh, let me think here, Justin James, Victor Strada, Roger Huerta in the past. Um, I'm going to go with Jens Pulver. Um, he's shown at this weight class that he's very strong, surprising a lot of people. Um, he surprised Cub Swanson for sure. He definitely surprised Uriah Faber in the first two rounds, and I don't think Leonard Garcia is going to be an exception. I think Jens Pulver is going to be outstrike, be able to outstrike Leonard Garcia, um, get him down possibly. That would be interesting to see Pulver go for some takedowns. Um, and I'm going to go with Jens Pulver via unanimous decision. Next fight, Paulo Fio versus Chow Sonnen. Paulo Fio compared to Ricardo Arona with his body type. One of the few guys at 185 that many people think can beat Anderson Silva besides Dennis Kang and Yushin Okami. He's got great jits, uh, jits uh, or great jiu-jitsu, um, as some say. Uh, great judo. Um, trains out of Team Link, Black House. Uh, this fought Chow Sonnen in the past, a controversial fight. Joe Dorkson, Kazuo Masaki, Ryo Shonen, Ninja Hua, uh, Ikehishi Minowa, Yuki Kondo, Akira Soji. Taking on Chow Sonnen, Division One wrestler, um, training out of Team Quest. Has shown a deficiency in the past of just being able to stay in fights, having the heart to continue in a fight, um, you know, the will to win. Um, but he seems to be getting a little bit better um, now. I mean, he looked really, really good against Fio until he got caught. Um, fought Brian Baker, Paulo Fio, of course, um, Jeremy Horn, Trevor Prangley, Bob Lusa Brawl, Terry Martin, uh, Forrest Griffin, uh, Akihiro Gono in the past. Um, I'm going to go with Paulo Fio. I think the same result's going to happen, but I think you're going to see a third-round armbar. I think Sonnen's going to make a mistake, um, and Fio's going to capitalize on it off of his back um, and catch uh, Chow Sonnen in an armbar. So I'm going to go with Paulo Fio, third-round submission. Uh, next fight, Uriah Faber taking on Mike Brown. Uriah Faber training out of the Capital City Fighting Alliance, um, a Division One wrestler, great heart, improving hands, Great speed, great takedown defense, great submission defense. He's got it all. Last fight was against Jens Pulver, spot Jeff Kern, Chance Farrar, Joe Pearson, Charlie Valencia, uh, Cole Escovito. Um, of course, losing to Tyson Griffin. Taking on Mike Brown, um, who's a talented wrestler, great stand-up, training out of um, American Top Team. Um, beat 
Jeff Curran, uh, fought Eve Edwards, Mazakazu and Minari, Ginky Sudo, Joe Lozon, Mark Hominick, Hermes Franca. Um, I'm going to go with Uriah Faber. I think that Mike Brown may come in with the game plan of trying to take Uriah down, which is a big mistake. I think the guy to beat Uriah Faber will be the guy that has quicker, more fluid technical striking that can pick apart Uriah, and that's the guy that will be able to beat him that has good takedown defense. If you try to take Uriah to the ground, he's shown he's just explosive off of the ground. He can reverse position on you and then just pick you apart. Um, so I'm going to go with Uriah Faber. I think he's going to win a unanimous decision. Um, I think he's going to be able to beat Mike Brown. I think he's got more tools than Mike Brown, um, and I think he'll be able to pull off the win. So I'm going to go with Uriah Faber via unanimous decision. Um, leave me some comments. Construct a negative positive as always. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'll be back the night of or the night after to do my review video. And on that note, you guys, have a great day.